What's going on everybody? This is Impulse and welcome back to Hermitcraft Season 6. New intro hype! Ah, <laughs> that's right. It was time. It was time to change out that intro. I've had the other one way too long and people were letting me know, hey Impulse, that thing's getting dated. And had a viewer by the name of Jesper kind enough to make me a new one. And I quite liked it, so thank you Jesper. Really do appreciate that. Look at this guys. Look at this. We got stuff working. These guys are working still. They're working um, a little too good actually. <laughs> Look at We filled this thing up. And and when that happens, there's still zombies around. I got to work on that. <laughs> when that happens, uh, it, then it kind of stops because you know they they just yeah they just back up the whole system. And anyway, but it's working now. And even better yet. Oh, by by the way, I got to tell you guys this because a lot of you were asking me like, hey, impulse, this thing is this thing is incredible. Like this design is really really cool. Can you know is there a tutorial for it or whatever? Uh, there wasn't at the time of the last video, but now there is. So you guys can now go check out a tutorial with world downloads and everything, templates on how to build this thing yourselves, all the information you would need to build this up in your own worlds. Uh, because my buddy Psychotic, he put one together. And so of course, I'm gonna put a link in the description, guys. Go click on that video, drop some love to Psychotic for an amazing farm. It is doing wonderful for me here on the server. And uh, yeah, there you go. Now you can build it up in your own world. So thank you Psychotic for sending me the design and then doing the work to do the tutorial for it too. I know those are never easy to do. So, <laughs> but I got good news guys. I got some really good news. Oh, and really bad news too. No, why? Oh, <laughs> why is there iron floating? Um, okay, so I thought I had this all resolved, but apparently not. There's some iron just chilling. Uh, look at all this iron though, and other random bits. Uh, we, th this is working as well. I got them working at the same time. I didn't have to do any kind of toggle farm uh, maneuvering. Look at me getting villagers up in here. Oh, like crazy. Oh, man. So, yeah, I figured it out. I figured out a solution. I want to show you exactly what that solution was. Uh, I had some suggestions of, you know, like covering the sky axis on the iron farm to make this one work. And then I can open it back up to make the iron farm work and, and that kind of thing. But I actually was thinking about it, and the deal with this was there is the village, of course, at the iron farm. I did some some measurements here, and it was like 50 blocks to this corner area, which means that there is a little corner slice of these farms that these villagers can get into the radius of the, the actual iron farm village, which is 64 blocks uh, radius around a, uh, for a village center. So that's what they were doing, basically. They were just trying to come over. They wanted to be part of that village so bad, they said, forget doing the crops. <laughs> you know, we're going to go be in this village. And that's what the problem was. So, you know, I thought about it and, and thought, you know what, if, if that's their thing, they're trying to get the, uh, to a village, what if we just give them a closer village that's still out of range of that one? So if we t made another village that was more than 64 blocks away, um, but closer to these guys than the one at the iron farm, then they would belong to a village and be in it completely. And that's what we did. Is he opening doors? Through the, through the corner. <laughs> That's great. He's, he's playing with his door through the corner. Oh my goodness. Anyway, so we made a village. Uh, this sky access, so yeah, I think I only need one door, but I, pff, why not? I just threw down a bunch of doors, so we had it. So yeah, there's a village that's being created here, and its radius goes through that farm, and, and it's a completely separate village than the one at the iron farm, and therefore, oh my goodness, where did you come from? You can't be here, guy. We gotta get rid of these zombies. We gotta get rid of these zombies. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. You don't need to help. <laughs> Oh, we gotta get rid of these zombies. It's a problem. So yeah, we solved the problem, which is very good news. Now these guys are farming and uh, can use that to stock up I trade and get all the microtransactions going and all that kind of stuff. So it was real, real good, real good. So okay, so let me go through here though because it's not quite a hundred percent fixed. Um, still having some issues, and I've been playing around with with this design a little bit, see if I can fix it. But basically right now, this farmer, he does not want to pick up these crops. And I think he, the reason is he's having a hard time throwing the crops to the villagers. Like he doesn't see them properly or doesn't want to share for some reason. Maybe he's just very selfish. I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the deal is uh, with that, but 
yeah, so far I've just been kind of going in there, harvesting a bunch of carrots, throwing them at him myself. And uh, he will replant, uh, so he's okay replanting. He just doesn't like to actually harvest. Kind of lazy there, dude. <laughs> so hopefully I can figure out what's going on with that. Maybe somebody's got to, maybe one of you guys know uh, what's maybe going on there. I can try some stuff out to fix it. But uh, check me out, guys. Got all the bling. Got all the bling. I'm getting rich. I'm getting so rich. I think I even, yeah, I got a bunch of many books just I'm hanging on to. I was able to get a Wither Skull on stream uh, the other day. If you guys didn't see that stream, I got a, a replay up on the channel. Uh, it was a video I released yesterday on the channel, so you guys can catch that stream. But we went hunting for Wither Skulls. I was able to get one. I was really hoping to get three. Uh, did some lighting up of the caves, but obviously not good enough. You saw some zombies walking around, heard some other zombies in places. And uh, I wanted to show you this, though. All these diamonds because business is booming over at iTrade. I tell you, it, it, I I think I, I still haven't got through all the hermits, but at least half the hermits have bought an iTrade uh, or se an iTrade season pass from me. And <laughs> I mean, it's just like one after another. Check this out. First, Biffa contacted me, wanted to do a deal, get himself a nice book. Then we had Scar drop by. He also wanted to get himself a book, tried to offer me some fake gold, that pirate Scar scoundrel. But I got my diamonds from Scar, and he got his book, so it all worked out. Then we had TFC stop by. He also wanted to get himself a copy, get to going on the trading. And then finally, Python came in and uh, just started spewing diamonds all over the place. <laughs> and I got my diamonds, he got his book, and we both walked away happy. But after that, we got a little visit from Wells and did some business with Wells that I want you guys to see right now. Hello, Impulse. How's it going, man? Hey, Wells. How you doing, man? Pretty good. Living the dream. You got a beautiful shop here. Hey, thanks. Thanks. Coming from a great builder as, like yourself, man. I will take that compliment all day long. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, the new stripped logs are like the greatest addition to the game. They and are ages they're they are. so good i i had to try it right i had to try it i was like okay new block 1.13 we got to do something fresh and uh i was nervous about it i'll tell you when i started building i was like i don't know if this is gonna work but uh hey i guess it did i guess it did i i like it i like the way it turned I, out i think the quartz and the concrete really tie it all together because i gotta admit too when this thing was first going up i was like that's a <laughs> lot of that's a lot but the 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 white concrete in the quartz really ties it all together nicely. It looks really good. I like oh, it. Thank you. Thanks, sir. So you're here to uh, get your hands on one of these things, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I need to get inside. <laughs> there's some uh, some oh, important red. villagers and stuff in there. I got there's, trade there's a few good ones in there. There sure is. Definitely. There's a couple. Yeah. <laughs> I heard you're still uh, in need of a silk touch villager, though. I know. I am. I've been I've been grinding like crazy, and I still haven't unlocked a silk touch. So. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> so, so is this season pass? Like, I mean, is, is this going to be, you know, once you sell one to everyone on the server, are you just going to stop updating stuff? Are you going to go, like, all EA games on us? Oh, uh, well, yeah, I can explain when we get it. Did, <laughs> did, you, did you bring the 32 diamonds it takes to get one of these passes? I, I did indeed. I did indeed. <laughs> okay. There you go. All right, we'll do the swap here. Let me count them. You want to do three? Yep, 32. Okay. Uh, <laughs> all right, so, yeah, basically you just need to toss the book and the dot of the eye there. It'll spit it back out, grab it on your way in, and you're uh, you're in. So that's okay, it. Okay, okay. And then there's a button up above. Gotcha. Yeah, so you, can, you can get out, no problem. Yeah, so the whole, uh, yeah, I've been compared to EA a few times here. Uh, basically, yeah, we're gonna be we're gonna be getting another deck, uh, an upper layer to this thing. There'll be more villagers. I'm not gonna charge any more for that, but uh, soon enough, we're gonna get some some goodies in a stack of chests back here. See how it's empty? I'm working on it. I'm working on it. <laughs> we're gonna get some goodies in that chest that you can use to actually trade with like farmers and stuff to get emeralds, and that'll be you know that'll be a little little fee, little micro transaction, if you will. Sure, sure. <laughs> That's fair though. That's fair. You know, I mean, it, it takes work to get all the stuff to generate the stuff to trade oh, with the villagers. It sure so I can, does. I can, I can respect that. That's Man, all good. Last episode I did, I had to make five farms. Five different farms. So, yeah. <laughs> so just, Hold on. What, we don't put want it on hold. Yeah, we don't want just, yeah. I need to channel like my inner B-dub snore here. Oh, too late. <laughs> I, I was I was going to, but uh, you know it's it's short nights here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm terrified of the nights, man. I'm terrified. The phantoms well, come after me all the time because I never time sleep. In ages. Yeah, it's great. Oh man. So yeah, yeah. That's kind of the deal. So I mean, I, if you do end up losing your book, I know some people have been worried. Like, what happens if I die in lava with my book? I I'll hook you up with another one, and I won't even charge it. I won't even charge a fee. I know some people have been telling me, you know, impulse, you should 
charge to replace the book. I won't. I'm a nice guy. I'm a nice guy. Got enough, got enough microtransaction stuff going on. I won't. Uh, that's it. what I call customer <laughs> service, right yes. there. Yes, yeah, I'm trying to be balanced here with it <laughs> a little bit, you know. <laughs> so, so that's the deal, man. That's the deal. If you find a, if you happen to run across a Silk Touch villager, they'll let me know because. Uh... I yeah, I will. Hey, you know, I feel like I did run into one somewhere. Really? I feel like one of the villagers that uh, like there's a couple of villages that are south of the main island, like in the desert and stuff. Hmm. And I feel like I may have stumbled across a Silk Touch villager. Oh man. <laughs> I'm going to get one though. I just set up a villager breeder. Uh you know, obviously I had one, but I set up a new one today and oh man, I'm going to start I'm going to start cranking through them and we'll hopefully find one. And uh, cool. I'm hoping to find a few other, you know, like uh, like looting three right here. That's a good deal, but it's for 26 emeralds. Well, yeah, I think I can find one better than that. That kind of stuff, you know. We'll we'll swap sure. these guys out as I get better deals, and uh, this shop should definitely always be getting better and better. Excellent. Well, I'm looking forward to it, man. I'm going to be in here all the time. I think. Sweet. Oh, maybe you can help me with something. Maybe you can help yeah. me with something. Um, I want to replace these path blocks. They they don't work. They don't work in here. I, I've had quite a few comments. In fact, these ones have already been ruined. Um, so, <laughs> yeah. Um, what do you think, man? You're a good builder. What do you think? I don't mean to put you on the spot, but what do you no, think it's would all be good. A, what do you I'm think thinking... would be a good block in here to replace these path blocks? Maybe you could do. Hmm, I wish I had blocks with me, but maybe like some spruce uh, stairs. Add a little mm. bit of depth to the floor or something. Oh, yeah, yeah. You always do that with your pathways. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that could kind maybe of, work. Kind of put stairs around the, um, like the glowstone and stuff, right? To, to kind of frame it, something like that. Yeah, kind of frame it out. Mm. And then you'd have like a little bit of a depth sort of thing coming down. You can, the way that stairs work, you know, you can set it up in such a way that you don't actually like fall into the floor at all, depending on how you do it. You can have like little less than full block gaps, I guess you would say. How, how much um, how much would you charge if I was to ask you to to maybe mock up something in here, you know? Maybe, you just, know, just I, flat, flat out do it. <laughs> is what I'm know, trying I to haven't say. Uh, I haven't actually gotten around to building mm. the uh, the Wells Knight Build Company yet, but it's coming, and could, I think I'd I... be willing to uh, to take on the whole job and do it all for you for probably, I'd say like, um, hmm, maybe like. I mean, for something this small, probably like eight diamond. That yeah, that's what I was bad. thinking. It's it's kind of a small area. It's not 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 too big of a, a thing. But you, so you're gonna have to get a little creative with it. So you got to use yeah. your brain. Yeah, All right. I well, I'll I tell you what. With something. I recently came into some extra diamonds. Just very recently. Um, I'm willing to pre-order this job if you don't mind. I know your business isn't open yet, but it's I, a deal. I'd, I mean, you know, I mean, you, you got to get it. that. You got to get that startup money anyway, right? That's you right. got to find investors. There so you go. essentially, you're uh, you're investing in the Wells Knight Build Company. Exactly, and you can put it in your portfolio, right? When you open your Absolutely. business, you can say, "Yeah, look at what I did for Impulse as I trade shop," as an example yeah. of my skills. Yeah, we could do something like that for <laughs> sure. And if you know, if you want to uh, contract out my services in the future to do, like, say, the upper level Ooh, and stuff like that, yeah, you know, yeah. I could probably uh, be uh, convinced to do that. Okay, I'll tell you what. I I'll I'll wait and I'll see how you do on the floor. And if you do a good enough job, I'll keep you in mind. <laughs> Sounds like a plan, man. It's right. a deal. Nice. That worked out great. Thank you. Cool. <laughs> all right, man. Well, that's all I needed was a few of your diamonds, and I'm sure all you needed was a pass. I'll let you get to uh, get to trading or whatever you're up to. And, and awesome. I can't wait to see what you come up with for the path, man. I know a lot of my viewers are going to be so happy to get those path blocks out of there. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Me too. I'll get Me too. something going. I'll probably uh, might even have this done like uh, today. Oh, that'd be sweet, man. Look at that. That's that is customer yeah. service. Tell that's me customer, customer service. service right there. That's how we do it. That's the Wells Knight Build Company coming soon. Trademark Incorporated are restricted. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> kind, of, kind of a long title, but very nice. It's a work right. in progress. <laughs> All right. I see. I see. All right, man. All right, I'll catch you later, man. All right. See you, buddy. Adios. And as promised, just a few hours later, Wells was contacted me again, letting me know the job was already done. All right, Impulse, my man. <laughs> You've been you working? Commissioned. I have. You commissioned some work from the, the uh, Wells Knight Building Company that's coming soon. But it has a really long. I, I, I'll work on uh, the name of it. Yeah, you should. Anyway, you should. <laughs> <laughs> so I've been working on this for the last couple of hours and uh, went through a whole bunch of different iterations of the design. But I think I finally came up with one 
that I'm happy with. And before I call it a job, I want to make sure that you're happy with it too. You know, because okay. the customer satisfaction and loyalty and all that. Okay, so, so if I'm not happy, are you just going to throw my diamonds back at me and say live with it? Or <laughs> No, no, then, okay. uh, you know, I will turn this into a 10-episode miniseries okay. until we find, uh, no, not really. But, uh, I'm sure it's going to be fine, man, but I haven't seen it yet. So, um, oh, you know what I forgot? <laughs> forgot to bring my own season pass. Oh, geez. oh how are you going to get in your own shop? Luckily, there's a, an ender chest smartly placed right outside. Ooh. Wow. Oh, there's some depth under the glass. That is great. You oh, like man. It? Yes. Yes. I'm oh, my glad. gosh. You spared no expense with quartz either. Yeah, I, uh, I realized, what? like, halfway into the project that maybe, I, given the amount of quartz involved, I probably should have charged you, like, a eight diamonds more. plus building materials. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> you know... You know, I mean, we'll call it, we'll call it okay. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, good. Because um, if you know me, I mean, I had a hard enough time collecting the quartz that it took just to get my, these little uh, trading stations done. So probably because I took it all. It, like, it was, oh, so okay. that's how okay. I was getting all my levels the yeah. first couple of days in the server is yeah. I mined like every block of quartz within a hundred blocks. Okay. Of <laughs> that makes sense. Spot. That makes sense now. Cause I've been looking in the nether and I saw that there was a lack of quartz. And so what I ended up doing was basically digging a tunnel, like a thousand blocks long. And I'm like, yeah. now I'm for sure. No hermit's been here. <laughs> <laughs> yep, but you know, I figure we could always uh, we could always come to an agreement too. You know, like I know you're the type of person that likes to make farms and automated That's stuff true. and things mm -hmm. like that throughout the season. You know, maybe we can work something out where, like, uh, you know, when you make uh, something or other farm, uh, you just uh, let me make use of it for free or something. Yeah, you know, we can probably we can come to an agreement of some I sort. I definitely think we can work that out because I that, I love using quartz. I hate getting quartz <laughs> yeah welcome so. to the club welcome oh, to the yeah. club but i'm glad you like it i think uh you know oh, as i said it's not like a super big area to work with you know yeah. it's not a lot of blocks but it's hard to get something that uh that doesn't look super out of place and i, I wanted to make sure it still kind of had that very like modern yeah sort of vibe to it as well so it looks really good um, man it looks really good i'm super impressed i'm so glad that that i hired you to do this because i would not have done this good of a job for sure <laughs> it really well, brightens really it up i'm really glad you like it yeah yeah it does it's actually more glowstone as well i i added a little bit of glowstone spaced out a couple things tweaked a couple minor things Ooh, uh got yeah. rid of you know, nice. some of this kind of stuff. And then uh, back here in the corners is still have like the birch and stuff. Cause I didn't know what you wanted to do with this area. If this was going to be closed off or a staircase. Yeah. To the second I, floor yeah. I think I'm so. going to eventually have like a staircase to the second floor. So that's what that's going to cool. be doing. Yeah. And I can, we can figure something out when that time comes. Uh, At to, one point I had up. like a random villager stash back here. Uh, there was two hmm. oak slabs, like right where I'm standing right now, but there was oh, no yeah. villager to be seen. Oh, right okay. So he probably didn't. Know. He probably didn't make it then. <laughs> yeah, he probably didn't. But, uh, oh, well. but yeah, it should all be uh, should all be spawn proof, so you shouldn't have to worry about any of that. I mean, honestly, I think even without the light, there's not really a whole lot of spawnable yeah. areas. Yeah, the so. only, only maybe only maybe these three blocks, but they're probably good. Yeah, and you're, a... you're still at eight. Um, I I double checked. So uh, eight, nine, smart thinking. eight. Smart thinking. Yeah. That is like my number one concern in here. If if a baby zombie villager gets yeah. gets loose, oh man, these guys, yeah, and they're mostly protected, but uh, I don't want to risk it. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. Rip. I mean, that would be unfortunate. That'd be like rip eye trade. You know. Yep. Yeah, I'd probably just just tear the building down. <laughs> so yeah, I wouldn't blame you if you lost all of them, got them all converted into zombie villagers. Although I wonder, I've always wondered if they get converted into zombie villagers. Assuming they don't despawn too quickly, would they just convert back to the same villager? They would probably convert back to the same class, but then they would still get a different like trade unlock because I think that part's still going to be random. So, oh, yeah, Tango's. <laughs> <laughs> Tango, Tango recently acquired a season pass, and I think he was uh, – what to uh, show it off already, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> uh, gotcha. <laughs> oh, man. Well, hey, thank you. Job well done. I am, uh, Anytime. I am so glad that <laughs> you took care of this for me. Oh, nice. Anytime, oh, man. you yes. Okay, check this out. This is also something the viewers were, you know, kind of upset about. Like, that the, the, you could kind of get the through. Stingle, the, the, the pains? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Wells yeah, fixed it, everybody. Thank Wells in the comments. Done. 
Go over to Wells's video and thank him in the comments because they were complaining <laughs> up a storm about that. So, <laughs> yeah, it was bothering my, my I don't want to say OCD because it's actually like a real thing, but my your building uh, sense. Yeah. But yeah, my building sense. Yes, my go. building sense was tingling. Senses are tingling. You know. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> we'll go with that. Oh, man. Well, well yeah, excellent. cool. I'm glad excellent. you like it. I do. I really do. Thank you so much, man. Anytime, anytime. And now, I'm and now you can use now of... you can enjoy the trades even more that it looks good in there. <laughs> Indeed, and now I'm gonna make heavy use of iTrade and get all the stuff. So. All right, all right, man. <laughs> Have fun. All right. Have I'll a good one. See. You too. See you later. Yep, this place definitely looks ten times better. Well done, Wells. So those of you that caught the stream yesterday, or the the stream the other day, or the replay, um, you saw that I actually just enchanted for the Silk Touch pick. I got sick of trying for the books, and I was like, I just need a pick. I enchanted a few picks. I got myself Silk Touch, combined them, Efficiency 5. Of course, put the Mending on there because we got access to Mending books like crazy. I'm breaking three. So I got myself a really good Silk Touch pick now, so I carry around my fortune and my Silky Smooth here. But I kept grinding for villagers once we got the villager breeder back up, and I got a good one, and I brought him over. Look at this. Silk Touch for 17, Riptide 3 for 36, and Protection 4 for 17. That's a darn good deal, if you ask me. And now we finally have our Silk Touch book. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to do anything with Tridents. I... I don't know that they are that great as a weapon in the game. I, I, I've been watching some other Hermits play with them. I don't know. I don't, I'll check it out just to see what it's like, but uh, I'm not sure. Maybe Riptide could be cool for underwater stuff. Maybe not. I don't know. Protection 4, that is a great deal. Like, we could put... Yeah, Protection 4, that's great. That's a good, really good deal. Anyway, so I brought him in. The guy that was in here, I think he just sold, like, flame books or something like that. And I was like, no, nah, he's he's kind of worthless. So I kicked him out, put this guy in, and that's a done deal. Uh, so we are booming with our crops now. We can go ahead and uh, begin to tr you know get some, some microtransactions going, right? I've been mentioning that. And what I'm going to do, basically, is we'll just take all these carrots here and we'll put them in this chest here. And what I'm going to do is I'll just, yeah, I'll just fill this whole thing up. I need to, did I bring, yeah, I brought two shulker boxes. So we should be able to fill up the entire chest with carrots. Oh, and potatoes. There we go. I'm going to do potatoes next. And we'll put down that one, get these guys in here. And then what we're going to do is actually sell these carrots because we got some farming villagers, farmer villagers, or over to my left and my right. And then we're going to use them or allow them to basically buy these carrots and potatoes and then trade with them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stacks for one diamond apiece. So eight stacks for one diamond. They can take it. They can leave their diamond. Good to go. And then I brought a few more chests. Actually, let's go ahead and make sure that we we label this right so that they know. Um, yeah, I think I'll put I think I'll put these signs on the out on the, on that side, and then uh, yeah, let's throw down a couple more chests. Let's see if I'm used to this whole chest creation mechanic. There we go. And the next one we'll put in our potatoes, and we'll just go ahead and do that. And that <laughs> I brought a few extra carrots. It looks like good. And where's our potatoes? There we go. We'll fill up this next chest here all the way up, just like we did the carrot one. And I bring another one. Yep, good to go. And then hopefully we get some hermits in here that will, you know, come in here thinking, you know, or forget that, you know, they needed emeralds or they don't really have a good way to get emeralds. And then they'll, they, you know, they'll just use this basically to uh, to hook that up. So let's do, oh, did I not bring enough potatoes? Oh, there they are. <laughs> I was like, I should have brought enough and then some. Okay. Excellent, and that's good to go. Let's put our paper in there. And then also I do have uh, some sugar cane. I have pumpkins, I have melons. I'm gonna bring those over here as well. Put those in here. I got, you know, I can put in, you know, four chests, four double chests high on that side, four on this side. That'll give us plenty. Uh, maybe eventually I'll double up carrots, potatoes, sugar cane, uh, it might be double pumpkin and melons once I have a, a full stock of them. Right now I'm still kind of building the stock up, so it's not quite there yet. But I'm going to bring over everything I have. That way we can start to get some of these, these micro transactions happening and make even more diamonds. And I'm going to have to, of course, keep my eye on this and replenish it as it goes 
goes down. Hopefully, hopefully we make some sales, and I have, and that's a problem that that I have to do is come in and collect my diamonds all the time and refill these with carrots and potatoes because we have plenty. But yeah, let's see. This guy he's selling for 16 and 17. I think the other guy over here, if I remember correctly, is 17 and 17. So not bad. Oh, this one's locked. So he probably needs to unlock that. Um, actually, I think I did that in stream. I, I probably did that in stream. Um, one thing I did want to mention, and I'm probably going to tell the other hermits this, is that it's really good. Um, let me use my uh, my own here. I'm not, I don't want to have to buy myself out here. Uh, let me use some of these leftovers. It's really good when you're trading to actually do, if you can, three different trades at the same time. Like really max it out. So for instance, come in here with wheat. Um, oh, I should get wheat going too. That, that reminds me. Uh, come in here with potatoes. Come in here with carrots. So they can do potatoes, carrots, and and you know pumpkins or whatever. Um, really come in here and max out the trades. So go through until it gets xed, right? Then go on to the next one. Go through until it gets xed. Then go on to the next one. Go through until it gets xed. And that way, what happens is when you leave the the UI here, there's much better chance of them resetting, right? Like right there, I only did one trade, and now all I did was locked up the the potatoes and the carrots. And if I don't come back and do a bunch of pumpkins and a bunch of, of melons and, and wheat, uh, there's a potential we could lock all these trades just about. And, and well, you know what? He's probably, no one's, I bet you nobody's bought like, I bet you nobody's bought cookies. So we could do this, at least for the first time. The first time you trade a trade with, with a, they're guaranteed. So if I'm the first person to ever buy cookies from this guy, he will unlock. Let's see. There he goes. Okay, so we're good. We're good. He's unlocked now. I'm not going to worry about him. But yeah, just a little trick with trading, guys, is is, is definitely try to, um, you know, they, you could come in here and do potatoes and carrots all the way through and get lucky. Um, you know, there's a, it's a much better chance if you do at least two full trades and, and then leave the UI than, than just one. But uh, if you do three, I think it's like a 99 point something percent chance that they're going to unlock, which is really good. So um, somebody told me that once anyway, and uh, it seems to be the case because I've, I've been able to trade without locking guys up pretty easily. So yeah, let me finish bringing some more stuff over so we can let the hermits know that there's actually goods in here now for them to buy and trade with to uh, get all their their book trading needs. All right, there we go. It's looking pretty good. So I got a double chest, uh, two double chests for potatoes, two double chests for carrots, two double chests for sugarcane, uh, and and watermelon and pumpkin. I'm still having a bit of trouble getting filled up, but uh, I, I got these all set up and then I was offline for a little bit. I just logged back on. So I'm kind of curious to see if anybody's been by yet. Uh, it doesn't look like it. Oh, okay. Um, Maybe they have. It's kind of interesting though. They didn't take the whole deal. Okay, um, maybe they're reserving it or something. I don't know, but we're making some diamonds already. So there we go. Okay, all right, all those potatoes. Yes, guys. Okay, again, leftover, some leftovers in here. Uh, yeah, sweet. How many have we made? Oh, I didn't keep count. One, two, three, uh, four. <laughs> this is awesome. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We've already made ten diamonds in microtransactions, and I swear I set this up like just a few hours ago. So I can't imagine how many diamonds we're gonna make from this alone. That is so awesome, guys. What a good, what a good business model I put together this season, didn't I? Didn't I? Gonna be the richest hermit on the server. I am. <laughs> That's going to do it for me today, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe before you go. And with that said, I'll see you guys again next time. Have a good one, everyone.